We're back now with a follow up to a story you saw first on 10. A local gym is now coming forward to help after two gyms closed unexpectedly. And some of the members have filed suit. NBC 10's Brian Crandall is live in the newsroom. Brian? Well, Patrice and Dan, the Rhode Island Attorney General's office is now working with dozens of customers who were shut out of their gyms. Meanwhile, another fitness center is also stepping in to help out. Two gyms suddenly closed and the complaints filed with the Attorney General's office keep on coming. We've received nearly 40 complaints from members that attended Flex Gym and nearly 70 complaints from those that are go to Gold's Gym North Providence. Members tell NBC 10 they had little warning and now most are trying to get their membership fees back. When we visited the Flex Gym in Harrisville, we found people trying to get their belongings back as lockers were being pulled away out of the building and off site. Some tell us they had recently just spent several hundred dollars on memberships right before the doors closed. In North Providence, the problem again about no notice before a sudden closure. We asked the Attorney General's office about the prevalence of at least two gyms closing like this in such a short period of time. This is a little unusual. However, we have been in contact with both gym owners. Um, with Flex Gym, we are working with the owner and we hope that we can resolve the complaints. And with Gold's Gym North Providence, the owner has allowed members to go to the Warwick facility, which he owns. And today, the owner of the Fitness Togethers in Barrington and Lincoln is offering a deal to those shut out of those two gyms. We will redeem any sessions that someone was training at Gold's or at Flex Gym. Uh, in a moderate amount and they just have to prove that they were training there through an invoice of some sort and will honor those sessions. So far four people have contacted Fitness Together. The Attorney General's office has this advice. And oftentimes it may sound great that you can pay for a gym membership up front for a full year but you might want to consider paying on a monthly basis. And we are told that the owners of both of those closed gyms are cooperating with the Attorney General's office. I'm Brian Crandall, NBC 10 News.